forget the wine today. In this house, today is not wine what we're having. Welcome to Wednesday Wine. You are on the right channel, if you will. You're in the right spot. We are celebrating Wednesday Wine, but we're also celebrating a big milestone at our house. 19 years of marriage. So we're gonna do it right. We're gonna do it con la viuda. Half a bottle because it's Wednesday and because um, honestly, we can't afford the full thing. Estamos en pandemia. And so my husband and I are celebrating 19 years of marriage. And so last week when I was thinking, who am I gonna invite? And then I realized, oh, it's 19, it's our anniversary and we're not gonna be able to go anywhere. Thank you, COVID. And I mean, it's not 20, but it's 19. I said, I wonder if Steve would do Wednesday wine with me. Y ese muchacho nunca me dice que no. And I said, hey, Steve, I have to ask you a question, la viudita. Esto, you know that promete that this is an important day. Uh, I said, Steve, can I ask you a question? Would you do Wednesday wine with me? And he said, okay. And not only is he doing it, but look how, how handsome he's dressed. And we almost match, boo! <laughs> you don't need to put socks on. Are you going somewhere? My mind. Depends on how it goes. <laughs> Mine needs shoes too. Um, so Steve and I married December 2nd, 2001 in San Juan, Puerto Rico. This is us at our wedding, blissfully ignorant of what was coming ahead. And this is us on your first trip to Puerto Rico when we started dating the first time you went to Puerto Rico in 1998. And so this is my husband, Steve. Ta-da! You're so happy. Yay. Say hi to everybody. Hello. Here, honey. Salud. Did you have a hard time finding a card for me this year because of the pandemic? Meaning like you couldn't find one that really expressed how this year has been in our marriage? I don't think they've made them yet. <laughs> I think they should. No, though. they have. I just don't think that they sell them at Walgreens. I think that it's like underground because <laughs> there's like swearing in it. And, uh, it, you know, there's a lot of profanity. There's probably somebody stick figure flipping another stick figure off. It's oh, God, yeah. You even wore cologne. He knows. He knows that cologne does the trick. I shaved too. You shaved. Salud. I, sh mm. I showered. I shaved. Try it, honey. It, it's the expensive stuff. Okay. Not the stuff that Poppy gives us. He's watching. I know he's watching. So yeah, so uh, it's been 19 years since we got married. We dated for three years. And so we have spent the pandemic together Yay. with our two children. That's yeah, been great. And I have to say that I am sure we've all annoyed each other tremendously. But it's been more doable because we've been together. That's what you think. I think that we would have coped much better if we had a bigger place with a basement. With a basement. And, you know, a lady asked me, Anna, I know that you love the city, but, and, and you know, we were city people too, but now that you've had to go through so many months in an apartment in the city, do you think you would move to the suburbs to a house? No, just not our thing. But, I'm going to be nice about it. You know, but I told, I told her, I said, I wish I could afford a house in the city. Oh, that'd be nice. Like where we live. We we live in West Lakeview and we love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cheers, cheers. Thank you to everyone who's saying happy oh, anniversary. See? Saying stuff there. Mira, si ve Aurora. 56 years oh, together. Shout out to Aurora. Aurora, Aurora, 50 years. She doesn't live in Aurora, honey. Her name is Aurora. Oh, shout out to okay. Aurora. Blessings you, you for should a, move to Aurora. Blessings for a long, happy marriage. There no, you go. I don't know how it's gonna be after tonight. <laughs> Why? Because you promised me only like a five minute cameo. No, no, no. This is a full Wednesday wine. Full Wednesday wine. Everybody asks me, how did we meet? 
I don't remember. I had been drinking. So we had a mutual friend that introduced us and Anna thought that I was cute because she had drank a lot of sangria, like a couple of pitchers full of sangria on her own. And so we talked, she gave me her card. She wrote her phone number and pager on the back of the card. It was 98. It was 1998. But I didn't leave with you that first night. All that information was on the front of the card. I mean, but I didn't leave I have with the card. you. No, you, you didn't. You tried. You have the card. It's true. I have the card. You I had still it in your wallet for a while. Oh, no, I got it. Yeah. Well, the... um, so you were like, oh, do you want to go to a bar with me? And I was like, no. So now, muchachita fina, digna. I'm leaving with my friend Sandra, but here are all my phone numbers. Mm, yeah. We met at Cafe Berico. So the person introduced us and I went drinking till like about four in the morning. Right. And my friend, I told my friend a hundred times, have him call me, have him call me. And then he called me and he invited me out on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I know you're Jewish and Fridays are holy, but it was a Sunday. Yeah. So all my girlfriends were like, ah, that's it. He had dates on Friday and Saturday. Yep. He did. I did. Well, I did, but my Friday one fell through and my Saturday one was with somebody who was born again. So it didn't and, work out And well. that doesn't work out well. Let's see, Pam is asking, what is our secret? Um, what? <laughs> No, um, the thirteen-year-old yelled, "You had kids." No, that's not no, our secret. That clearly was not. I think compromise. I think that we're both on the same wavelength for things, or I just capitulate early. Not really, but no, no, we, we compromise. Yeah. We don't. Um, we, the small stuff's the small stuff. And we try to be a team. We've always been that way. Okay, but here's the thing. He oh, hold on, though. There's, there's a lot of hum ah, there human. Ahora quiere hablar. Was... Ahora quiere hablar. No, no, no. no. Tell... Hablar. I'm going to tell this story. Dale. So there was humility that was put into the relationship. I thought you said very humiliation. It, there was a little bit of humiliation, uh -huh. too. So we were dating a month. And mm -hmm. after dating a month, Anna said to me, You know, I just want you to know, I thought you were a lot cuter the night that I met you. And when you showed up on our first date, I was a little bit concerned because you weren't as cute as I remembered you being. Uh, well, I had sangria goggles. It's nice to be told that after a month you've been dating But somebody. I had fallen in love with you already. That's why I told you. It yeah, came from love. I'm, I'm so happy to get that it comfort It came level. from love. Thanks for having that comfort level. That's great. So See? please, you, you can talk. You me. like each other generally like each other. Yes. We like each other a lot. Like when we don't have to talk about the kids, like we're always talking about the kids. We're always talking about work and the things that are going on. But when when we can move that aside and we talk about the world and our values and how we see things and we discover that we're still on the same wavelength, that is like, that makes us fall in love again, at least me, me. Uh, someone asked, this is Mira, somebody asked, has divorce ever crossed your mind? No. No, and we've never had uh, the biggest fight that we had was when Anna moved to New York, and I was frustrated that we were li we were going to live in New Jersey. That was well, like but it. I think that it had to do with the fact that I was moving you from Chicago uh, with no job because you were moving with no job to follow my career. So that's the other thing. When I met Steve, I told him I wasn't going to convert. Steve is Jewish, and I'm Catholic, and uh, I told him I, I wasn't kept my maiden name. <laughs> I told him that I was going to follow my career wherever it went and that I was going to move. And lo and behold, we moved six months after we got married. Yeah. And uh, and then when we were in New York, he's like, oh, we're never going back to Chicago, right? And then, <laughs> yeah, that's great. Oh, this is a good one. What? How did the religion factor into your marriage or was it no factor? It wasn't a factor for him and I. It was a factor for everybody else. Yeah, for the rest of the family. Don't Same. touch my shame thing. It was a factor for everybody else. For Anna's parents, it was a factor leading up to the wedding. Mm -hmm. Then for my parents, when we had, uh, when Anna became pregnant, then it became a factor. Mm -hmm. And so it was like the families were just taking turns. <laughs> Being scared that one religion was going to yeah. win over the other. Um, but when we dated, mm -hmm. we went to um, marriage counseling, religious marriage counseling, because we wanted to just try and make sure that we were talking through any issues that there were. And it was something that they have at old St. Pat's. 
Um, and so when we got there, there were all these mixed marriage couples that were having these humongous fights and were there was a woman like that, that was pregnant, be, remember? Yes. And she she was so sad because he didn't he never got excited about putting the Christmas tree up or he never got excited about Christmas. And I was like, but he's not because he's Jewish. So St Steve and I are very respectful of our traditions. Neither one of us is super religious. We come from very religious families. My dad and mom uh, both converted to Catholicism when they were 14 and they're very faithful to the church. Well, to the religion, not necessarily to the church. And he grew up uh, in, in a conservative, conservative Jewish, household. Jewish household. But he was so old when he got married that his parents were like, take him, take him. No, you just didn't know what came before you. <laughs> Trust me. That's true. I wore them down. Same case with me, honey. Because my mom, after she met him, she's like, ay, por Dios, convert, do whatever you want, but this is the best thing you've ever brought home. Yeah, but remember, I met Casa your parents alone. Este. Oh, that's another good story. Mm -hmm. My husband and I, uh, oh, were you shocked that I was Puerto Rican? No, he'd been warned. <laughs> No, because my friend that was trying to introduce us had mentioned that she was Puerto Rican, that she was on Univision, she was on the news, you need to watch her. I had no interest. I had no interest in meeting her. I had no interest in watching her. I had no clue who she was. So, I mean, it just ended up being completely relaxed and by chance because we just happened to, I was with our, our mutual friend. friend, the one who was in, who had introduced us that night at the same place. So it just worked out that way. So I have a... Uh, so, um, Steve wanted to date Jewish because he rarely dated Jewish and I wanted to date Latino cause I always dated Latino. And when I dated that one white guy, he dumped me and I was like, forget it. I'm never dating any more Americanos. That's it. But it was then a traumatic month for you. it was a traumatic guy. month for me. And so, <laughs> and then, um, uh, my friend Chris said, do you want to meet my friend Steve? He's here tonight. And Chris kept bothering us about each other. And I'm like, hey, no, I don't want to. But then there was this really annoying guy at the bar bothering my friend Sandra and I, and I said, Sandra, let's just take a lap and find our friend Nino on the other side of the bar. <laughs> and when I went, I couldn't find Nino, but then I spotted Chris and I spotted him and I'm like, Sandra, siéntate at that table. That man is good looking. And so there you have it. So my advice to anybody is just drink a lot for the first year and you never know where it can take you. Could Was it hard years. when you had the kids? What about the religion? Oh, they're all messed up. Um, no, because we, I think that we both, we both were raised raised more religious than we are now. And I think we both backed away from the religion because we knew going into a mixed religious marriage that it, there, there were a few ways that it was going to work. Either somebody converted or we both backed away because if we were both going to stay as religious as we were growing up and raised, then we were going to end up butting heads about yeah. this and it was not going to yeah. be good. I, we, um, our therapist, we go to a therapist individually, but he always said, you have to mourn what you're losing, right? You're not going to have the Christmases that you grew up with. You're not going to have the Rosh Hashanahs you grew up with. My kids uh, are not bar mitzvah or bat mitzvah. They're not christened. Mourn that because your love is greater than that, right? And, and also, we admire um, the values that both religions gave to us. So we're raising the kids exposed to both. Um, we thought it'd be easier in this country because there are so many religions. It is not. We have one child more sensitive to the topic than another. Um, but we go from a place of honesty and we tell them that if they want to follow either religion, they have to learn about it. We were both raised in it and we, I did all my sacraments. He did um, everything they do in the Jewish religion. And so uh, we, we present it to them and we let them decide, which my mother-in-law thought was crazy. I'm sure, and my parents, because he bought the cow, couldn't care less. So we'll, we will see. And yeah. so uh, somebody asked about our age difference. It's uh, seven years, except for one month when it's eight years. And for that month, I hear about it every day. The kids are all, someone's like, what religion are the kids? They're all messed up. Uh, material. Um, because they figure it's more gifts for them. Yeah. What are pet peeves? <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Say it. No, I, don't I know. know what your pet peeves are of me. What? 
I say, you know what I'm saying a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I say that. Um, and I, when I want something, I want it now. Like, and so I don't have a lot of patience. So if, if like you don't get to something, then I do it and I may end up doing it wrong. So yo hago las cosas a la cañona. And he also says that I, I open the boxes like Hulk. Yes. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. Because if I'm going to return something and the box is shredded, then it's like, it's a lot of tape. It's tough. <laughs> Angelica said really you're tough. a smart man for not answering. Yeah. Mira, Hector, I remember being hey. that crying shoulder after that episode with the white guy. You said to me, why do I keep dating these losers? Which I replied, be patient. The right one will come soon. And Steve showed up in your life. And Hector, we still have the video tape from the wedding. So Hector Bettencourt was, is like a brother to me. He was my first cameraman in Chicago. One of my first friend in Chicago like my big brother. Hector heard about all the guys I dated. Hector heard about- I had to meet, I never, I had to meet Hector to be see, approved. I never dated Hector. And uh, because you know what, Hector? Business is business. And so Hector was like a big brother to me. And so I remember that when he met Steve, he said, okay, Nena, you've been through enough losers. This is it. And here we are. 19 years, well, 20 something, 20 something years later. Years later. 20 so something yeah. Years later. Oh, is that my brother Mario? Where? My brother Mario. Hey. What was the best part of Mario's wedding speech? Oh, of at our wedding or his wedding? At our, at our wedding. wedding, that she would drop boyfriends with the finesse of a sumo wrestler. I don't think I'm capturing it exactly as poetically as, as my brother-in-law said it. My my, cuñ my cuñado said it. But, to, to, to cuñado, cuñado. Sí. but that was it that she would drop boyfriends with the finesse of a sumo wrestler <laughs> okay let's see this uh this is ermina love and appreciate your blended dynamic so much in what ways do you work to strengthen your relationship on top of successful careers kids managing family expectations that's the hardest part yeah I don't making know. time for ourselves we respect each other a lot and but it's hectic it's for any for any set of parent i don't i don't think that there's anything that we do that's any more special or tougher than what anybody else is doing in terms of raising parents but and i think children. that raising i mean raising children sorry <laughs> sometimes they feel like sometimes our parents they feel like our because parents. they have our parents um, personality yeah which is scary um no i don't know <laughs> Church wedding, reception, honeymoon? No. Mm -mm. Uh, married by a judge. A federal judge. Federal judge who scared the crap out of me because we had to go meet him. And he was a Supreme Court judge in Puerto Rico. Um, we did get blessed in the parking lot at a monastery by Anna's cousin, who cousin, was who's a, who's a contemplative a monk contemplative and couldn't monk. marry us, but he felt really bad about it. So we got a blessing. And we, gave, we got a blessing at the church parking lot. At the monastery, outside the monastery, which was very, very nice, special. Very nice guy. And Panchi. we married with um, uh, Pucci. Panchi's my with brother. Pucci, sorry. What? He says it's a festivus miracle that he's online. So, yeah, we, <laughs> I think um, oh, at man, one, we, we were trying to figure out if we were going to have a church <laughs> wedding, a mixed wedding. We really wanted to have a rabbi and a priest. But it was really hard to combine them in Puerto Rico. And it was important for Steve not to get, we, neither one of us wanted to get married in the structure of our religion. Right. Not in a temple, not in a church. So we ended up marrying uh, at, a at, a, at a hotel and it was beautiful, very heartfelt. Um, how old are our children? 13 and seven. Yeah, here we go. How does Steve handle your Puerto Rican ways? Does he know Puerto Rico goes to zero to a hundred real quick? Uh, yeah, I found that out many times. La chancleta. No, I've never thrown the chancleta at you. No, but you threatened the kids, but that's yeah. pretty funny. You said to me once that one thing you really liked about me was my passion. And you said, and I was like, what? Were you pulling a shoe or a knife? No, I'm you on... said it was that I was passionate about everything. Like with me, nothing was like, eh. Like this is Steve. Steve, did you enjoy the dinner? Yeah, it was great. It was fantastic. It was the best dinner I've ever had. Yeah, I can be from Minnesota. 
I've got that typical Midwestern like temperament. So when people meet them and then I walk in, they're like, what the? But then again, I'm not like this all the time. No. <laughs> am I? No, but you're more energetic than I am. Than so. the average Midwesterner? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. We got married at the Condado Plaza, which is now the Conrad Hotel. And well, then we honeymooned in St. John because after I threw out every single option possible, I think all 180 countries, I mm -hmm. kept getting told, can we obey? Can we obey in St. John? Can we obey in St. John? Eva's asking, what are some of your favorite TV shows? Mine? Mm-hmm. Um, Soap, Sanford, and so Oh my God, he's showing his age. Hijo mio. This man doesn't watch TV and doesn't watch movies unless we force him, unless they catch his attention while he's doing things in the house. I've enjoyed uh, Somebody Feed Phil. Yeah. Uh, Rick Steves. You like travel shows a lot. I like travel sports, shows. Sports, he will shows. watch any sports, anything with any a soccer. score. He really does. Uh, thank you. Thank you for all your well wishes. What is a, let's see. I like Seinfeld. St. John. No, St. John Indians. No, St. John U.S. Virgin Islands. What is your favorite Puerto Rican food? Steve. Probably, no, I had to think. Well, tostones. tostones. But, no, no, no. But I'm My mom's tostones. Your mom's tostones. But I was thinking between mofongo or beefsteak. Be See, he likes. There was some thought going. Kind empanada with yeah. tostones. He loves. Um, but mofongo with sh uh, shrimp creole. Yeah. So, uh, what are your hobbies? <laughs> Mine, um, organizing and photography. photography. Yeah, and hopefully sit in silence. Steve cooks a lot, and he can whip food together, which I cannot. Sometimes. Hmm. Yeah. Someone asked if you, what Spanish have you picked up? Un poquito. Pero. Yo hablo un poquito. Si, sí, pero what are your favorite Puerto Rican words? My favorite Puerto Rican words. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't say any of them. <laughs> you like, you like No es Fácil. No es Fácil. Uh, voy a Plaza con el Bastón. No, that's, all, that's all stuff my that's mom all, says. That's all stuff from my mother-in-law. Um, no, most of my, Puerto, my favorite Puerto Rican words are swear words. So I can't, I really can't say anything. See, Diana loves mofongo with shrimp. Mofongo with shrimp is awesome. I know, I know. Your son looks just like Steve and Ahmed um, looks just like me. Well, let me show you. I wanted to show you because we both come from very, um, solid marriages. Yes. Very solid marriages. My mom and dad have been married. 60 years. Steve's parents were married. I don't know. How old were you when they passed away? Well, my mom passed away in 2010 and they got married in 65. So beep, boop, boop, beep, beep, 45 beep, 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 years, beep. I think. Okay. Look at this handsome couple. These are the Vions. Look at that man. He looked like a movie star and she was so beautiful. They both passed away. But I think my daughter looks like her grandparents has the same kind of facial shape. And then, so these are Howard Vion and Adrian Vion. I'm pointing wrong. Howard and Adrian. And they were married a very long time, had a very solid marriage, and were extremely welcoming and raised a very tolerant son. Hence, he married a Puerto Rican princess. I don't know if I would call you a princess, but okay. Kill me. Nobody knows. And then, you know my parents. You've seen them before. This is my mom and dad at our wedding. Yeah, que guapo. These two have been married 60 years, right? They don't look any different. To this they don't look any different. To this. They have a pact with Jesus. This is my dad when he was a boy. And everyone's like, is that Alex? No, that's my dad, Mario. Because remember, Puerto Ricans come in all colors. Latinos come in all colors. <coughs> how did Steve, ah, mira, how did Steve know to stock up on toilet paper before the pandemic? These are important things that people want to know. Thank you, Patricia. Honestly, I was stocking up on it even before the pandemic. That's what she's saying before. How did you oh. have the foresight? Because then it was fewer trips to Costco. Because getting through Costco, I love Costco, 
but it's an ordeal because you've got the long lines with the person who's getting 70 things in their cart and their cart stacked up way up high. So just was fewer trips. How did we meet? Oh, we said it earlier. We met at yeah. Cafe Berico through a mutual friend. He was looking to date more Jewish women. I was looking to date Latino men. Yeah, it worked out well. How did Steve propose? Mm -hmm. Oh, Natalie said, that is just who, T who Steve is. He stocks up on toilet paper. How did you propose? Um, My parents were watching. I can't, I can't <laughs> divulge that. I proposed uh, at apartment. her apartment at her apartment. So this um, is a we'll good, at that. this is a good tip for people who are marrying in, to different cultures, different religions, different anything, right? So Steve and I decided to tell our families that we were going to get married before getting engaged. We wanted everyone to deal with the idea that no one was converting, that we were going to get married in Puerto Rico, that, um, that this was it. So we told people, we told our parents ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And I mean, seriously, my mom was looking for a venue. I mean, my mom was like, well, when are you going to get engaged? And I kept saying, when are we going to get engaged? When are no, it's going to be a surprise. It's going to be a surprise. And I was like, oh, my God. And I did that thing that women do like, yo no me caso si no hay sortija. Yo no me mudo si no hay sortija. You know that. So, um, <laughs> yeah. so December like 17th that. of 2000? Yes. He had asked me to take the weekend off. I was working weekend news. And he asked me to take the weekend off. And uh, I thought we were going to go holiday shopping because we were going to Puerto Rico and so on. No, we weren't going to Puerto Rico. My parents are coming up. Anyway, I noticed he was really nervous while I was getting ready. And he turned off football. And I was like, <laughs> he's going to dump me. Me van a dejar. <laughs> And then he pulled out the ring and proposed. And what did I answer? Uh, don't fuck with me. <laughs> I went, no! What the? Because my reactions are so subtle. But I will look at noted that I, I did- I don't like surprises. Uh, send a written note via FedEx to my in-laws and then called, actually I was gonna call them, but they called me before I could. And it was about a 10 second conversation. And then that was it. And then I had like days to wait before I did it. Was it love at first sight? No. No. Uh, Carlos says hi. Tere and Carlos say hi. From I've school. already done my Starbucks run today. He did Carlos. his start. Okay. Uh, yeah. Everyone, see, you love how calm he is. Yeah. He's like my oasis. He is my source of calmness. When he's home, I think things are going to be okay. He does all the bills. He takes care of all the math. I'm just here for entertainment purposes, which, you know, he has an emergency file in case of emergency. In case I get, in case I get killed flipping somebody <laughs> off in the car in traffic. That's another good tip. If you, like me, can't do math, don't surrender everything. Make sure you know what you have, what you need to pay, pay, and make sure the guy who does it has a file that you know where it is and you know what to pay in case he is otherwise indisposed. When did you know Anna was the one? Oh, I've never asked you that. That's a great question. Yeah. I don't know. Well, after a month. After a I, month. I, I, honestly, I think it was after I got told that I looked much cuter on our first date. Get out! I was convinced then. Why? You're no, kidding. You don't I'm know. Kidding. I don't know. No, I think it was after Do you have a, a brother? He's an no. only child. No. He is an only child, and all his cousins are married. Um, he's my soft place to land. That is the best <laughs> way to say it. He is. He is my soft place to land. Uh, coquito or roncaña? Have you had roncaña like pitorro? Yes, you have. A Tony have. and Nani's, yeah. Probably pitorro because you don't like coconut. Yeah. Este muchacho doesn't like, didn't eat pork because he's Jewish. Now he does. Uh, doesn't okay. like coconut. Doesn't like beans. Still don't eat them. And he married a woman whose staple diet is pork, rice, and beans. It killed me. Yeah. How big of a dork is Steve? Un poquito. Have you seen his record collection? Right? Let's see, there we go. How zen. I don't think 
it could have been any other way on that. No, he, 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 yeah, we can't. So, um, will you share a recipe again? Yes. This Sunday on my YouTube channel, we are going to celebrate. This is the other thing Them, this man got me drunk our first two dates. And now he, first two dates, like try first year. No, that's no, the the so, no, the yeah, that's, the so that's not true. Yes. So, true. And now you did. He's like, please don't serve me more. I Where have, are we going? I have to go pick up dinner. You're going to send me out to drive somewhere to go pick up dinner. That is true. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm like the spice to his white rice. Yes. So I, I right? Yeah. Right. So anyway, we we can't You're the sofrito. We appreciate that you guys, yeah, the record collection makes you a god. There you go, Jaime. <laughs> Mary said go fast. No, Mary, that's where he gets uh, arrested. So, um, thank you for allowing us to celebrate with you because it's the only way the kids stayed away. This is the most alone we've been in the entire pandemic. In the entire pandemic that they're not sleeping, right? It's been what, 30 minutes? Yeah. Do you think Alex is still in the bathroom? I hope he's not in the bathroom. He hasn't yelled for us to wipe him. Does Steve speak Spanish when he's drunk? Mm-hmm, and fluent. Or if I get mad at my daughter, then I'll start throwing Spanish out of her. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, uh, I hope that everyone that's out there is, uh, <laughs> Okay. Metiche 2.0. Metiche <laughs> Steve and Larry could be distant cousins. Yes, they get that a lot. They get that a lot. And sometimes I look at Larry and I'm like, oh my God, yeah, you could be related. <laughs> Mira, Mary, get tipsy and get and uh, deliver food. Mary, you know him better than that. See, this is the first person that asked this. What attracted you to each other? <sighs> I loved, I thought he was very handsome. And I also loved that he listened and he was so detailed oriented. I swear that Steve should have worked for hospitality because um, he listens. And if someone needs something or likes something, he makes sure that it's there or like your needs are met. And he, he uh, that's what I always loved that after our first date, he then called me and said, how did it go with blah, blah, blah. He remembered what I said. What, what attracted you to me? Uh, you made me laugh a lot. <laughs> I didn't know that you liked that that much. Like why? But that I make you laugh so much. Yeah, I just I, I I have to be the straight man. <laughs> you have to be. <laughs> I'm Abbott, uh, your Costello, or I'm yeah. Costello to your Abbott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know which yeah. one it is. Sometimes I'm like, when is this guy gonna say no? You can't. No, we're not gonna do. You can't apply for that job. You can't open a YouTube channel. We. Stop it. Just sit down and enjoy what you have. But yeah, no, I'm not tipsy, actually. I'm just really happy that we had this time together by ourselves and that my husband smells so good. Salud. Thank you for putting up with this. And so much more. Guys, thank you so much for all the nice comments. Um... Oh, what is your favorite? You guys are asking so good questions. What is your favorite place in Puerto Rico? I have no idea. I mean, the West Coast is beautiful. Oh, yeah. Isabela, um, we loved. Rincón. Yeah. Rincon, Cabo Rojo, Cabo we really Rojo. enjoyed. And Old San Juan, we love walking Old San Juan's awesome. through Old San Juan. We really do. And my parents live like 10 minutes away. So. Yeah, we're gonna miss it. We were supposed like today. I was driving, and I'm like, this is gonna be hard because yeah. at this point, I'd be packing and or organizing what we would take home for Christmas. So I think this is the first Christmas since maybe '99 mm -hmm. or 2000 that we haven't been in Puerto Rico since '99. Yeah, I would say, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But it's what we got to do. Everybody, stay safe. Thank you for joining us. If you are watching us on YouTube, leave us your comment. Tell us where you're watching from, subscribe, and to all our friends on Facebook, we appreciate all the love, and thank you so much. We're going to pretend we're still on to see if the kids leave, leave us alone. <laughs>